Tonight I'm going to make a couple of pieces of wall art using items that I purchased from Dollar Tree. First off, we have this wind chime that I picked up at Dollar Tree. I have the silver plate. I actually have two of them. And I have a second wind chime that I picked up from Dollar Tree. Okay, so I've never done this before, so I'm just kind of making this up as I go along. I have some silver spray paint that I'll be using, some Mod Podge, some silver glitter. I'll also be using my hot glue gun, and I have these wire snippers. All right, so let's just get started. First thing I want to do is to cut the loop off the top of this wind chime. Just like that. And then I want to cut the one off the bottom as well. And so now we have the sun. And I'll move these aside. Let's do the same thing for this wind chime. Okay, the first thing I want to do is take these out back and spray paint these silver. Now you can leave these this color if you want to. These are really pretty. I think I'm going to end up doing a couple of different sets, but to start off tonight, I'm just going to do silver on silver. So I'm going to go out back, spray paint these silver, and then we'll come back and pick up where I left off. All right, instead of using the plate as it is, I decided to go ahead and add some bling to it. And I'm going to be using the Dollar Tree Fix-All to glue the bling down onto the plate. I'm also putting on gloves to protect my hands from the glue. So now I'll just go ahead and measure and see how much I need to cut. And I'm using this mesh bling that I picked up from Amazon.com. But you could very well use the Dollar Tree bling as well. Before I cut the bling, I'm actually going to add a bead of hot glue along the edge of the plate just to secure it in place. So now I'll go ahead and spread some fix all over the plate and then I'll attach the bling to it. And now I'll add more hot glue to the other side of the plate to hold the bling in place. Now just cut off the excess bling and move on to the next part of the plate. Okay guys, so I have completely covered the plate. So next what I want to do is just cut off the excess, but I still want to leave enough to wrap around to the back. So I should have done that here at the top, but next time I will. What I'll do is just add another row right above here so it'll be even like the rest of it. So I'm just going to cut the excess off, then use my hot glue gun to glue this back. 
All right, and then we can move on. Now, if you decide to do this, you do not have to use this mesh that I use. You can use the Dollar Tree mesh. And what you would do is just apply it strip by strip. I bought this mesh bling from Amazon a few months ago, and it's it's been lasting for a really long time. I think it was about $12. It wasn't much, but it's definitely worth it because you can't always find the bling at Dollar Tree. And I'll leave a link below in the description box to where you can pick it up. One other thing I want to say, if you decide to do this project, you do not have to use the round plates. You can use the oval ones, and they have a rectangular one too as well, but yeah. I think they all work out perfect but yeah we're here now so let's just go ahead and glue this to the back and then move on and um, you do not have to use the fix-all glue you can use whatever glue you decide to use whenever you glue your bling down but make sure you're in a ventilated area um, you can also use glue sticks but I don't want to use the glue because it clouds the background see how that's blinging now if you use the glue sticks to glue down the mesh, it's going to dull it out. Alright, so what you do is just apply some glue to the back of the plate. So make sure you add enough to try and reach to the back. If not, then just glue it to the sides of the plate and just hold it back like so. Like that. Again, the same thing. Just fold it back. All right, so this is how it looks. Alright, so the next thing I want to do is bling out the sun so I can lay it here. And I'm going to lay it right across here because I see that line. So what I'm going to do is just put it right across there. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? So I'll go ahead and put this plate aside. And here I have my second plate already done as well. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and mix up some Mod Podge and glitter. And then apply it to my sun. And it'll look like this one. And this is after two coats. I might do three. And um, I'm not sure if I'm going to completely cover it with glitter. I might just do like some of the outside of the rays and see how that looks. If I don't like it, then I'll go ahead and do the whole thing. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then after it's dry, we'll go ahead and go on to the next step. Alright, so I moved on to a newer foam brush. So all you want to do is just take your foam brush, dip it in your mixture, and start applying it to the sun. Okay, just like that. So I'm going to let this dry, come back and add another coat, and then we'll move on. Okay guys, I'm back. And this is what it looks like after one coat of the glitter and Mod Podge mixture. I really like how that's looking. Let's do it this way. So what I think I'll do is go ahead and add two more coats instead of one more coat. So I'll go ahead and do that and then come back and then we can move on. Okay guys, I'm back, and this is how my sun is looking so far, and I did three coats of the glitter and Mod Podge mixture on each one. So now what I want to do is add some more bling to the rays, and so what I'll do is use my paintbrush and just brush some on the tips. Now, I'm just trying to see how this looks. 
I'm figuring this out as we go. If I don't like the way this looks, then I can wipe it off or I can just continue to add more glitter to the rays. I have this newspaper down and what I'm going to do is just sprinkle some glitter on the rays. Oh yeah, that's looking pretty good. I like that. I had no idea when I decided to pick these up that I would end up doing this. Sometimes when I'm in the Dollar Tree or wherever and I see something that that's attractive to me, I'll just go ahead and buy it and, you know, I'm thinking, well, something will come to me later. You know, I don't know what I want to use it for as of yet, but I've always been attracted to anything celestial. So I'm just going to continue to do this all the way around, and then I'll come back and add some rhinestones to the eyes. And I'm going to add rhinestones to the other side as well. I think I want to add some glitter around the ring as well. Yeah, I really like the way that looks. Before I add the rhinestones, I'm going to add some glitter spray to set this permanently. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and start on my second sign. And pretty much I'll do the same thing, just go around and highlight the edges. Okay guys, I'm back and this is what my sun looks like. I sprayed it with the glitter spray paint. So all the glitter is sealed in. All right, so the next thing I want to do is go ahead and glue this onto my plate. And I figure I'll do it like this. And position it how I want it. Just like that. To glue my son to this plate, and because the sun is really lightweight, I'm going to use the Dollar Tree Fix All and a little bit of my hot glue gun. And out comes the glue. Alright, so what you want to do is just spread it on there. Whoa. We have a lot to come out.
You don't have to get every single part because you will be adding hot glue. And once you put the hot glue on there, you really got to hurry up and put it down. All right. Hot glue is ready. And you really want to work fast. Position it how you want it. All right, and then press down. Once this is glued down, you still might have some parts of the sun that's sitting up a little bit higher than you want it to be. So all you do is just go in with the glue gun and hold those pieces down until it sets. This is how it looks so far. I see some places where I want to add some more glue. So I'm just going to put it right underneath there. All right, so this is what we're looking like so far. Look at all that bling. But yeah, this is really gorgeous. I think I'll go ahead and do this again in gold and silver, but I'll do this on my second channel. But yeah, guys, I'm really loving this. This is beautiful. So what I want to do now is add a couple of rhinestones to the eyes. And I have some of these really small rhinestones that I'm going to glue on the eyes. And since they're so small, I'm going to use some of the fix all to glue them on there. What I want to do is just take a little bit of glue and I'm using a popsicle stick to put it on there. And put it right on those little spots. I should have grabbed some tweezers. I actually ordered one of those little um, tools that you use to pick up rhinestones. And I'm waiting for it to come in the mail. But meanwhile, you have to be creative and come up with new ways to do things. Let's see how that looks. That's pretty good. I like that. Alright, let's put down the second one. So now I'm going to add some rhinestones around the outer part of the plate to give it even more bling. Let's see, let's start with one right at the top in the middle. And I'm using my hot glue gun for these. Okay, so this is how it's looking so far. So now what I want to do is take a smaller rhinestone and put it between each of these. So yeah guys, um, I think I'm pretty content with this. Part of me wants to add some gemstones here and there inside the plate, but I think I'm going to leave it here for now. So all I need to do now is add a piece on the back to hang it. And I need to decorate the second plate. But yeah, guys, this piece has gone from wind chime to wall art. Look at that. That's beautiful. So let me just go ahead and finish up the second one so you can see how I did that as well. Okay guys, I'm back, so let's finish the second one. 
I went ahead and sealed this with the glitter spray paint as well. So let's just go ahead and glue this down. And once that's glued down, I go ahead and add two rhinestones on the eyes here, like I did the one before. All right, so that's how that's looking so far. As you can see, I've already put rhinestones around the outside of the plate. So now I'll go ahead and add two rhinestones on the eye of this sign as well. All right, so that's how this one looks. So all I need to do now is just add a hook on the back to hang it on the wall and we will be done. And this is how they both look. Now, honestly, you can pick one design and do it in three different ways and hang them as a set or two. And you can also hang one above the other one. It's really easy and inexpensive. It took a little bit of time, but that's okay. I really don't mind spending time on my craft so yeah guys this is it okay guys this is it for now my diy wall art and i hope you enjoyed it and if you did please leave me a thumbs up and if you are a subscriber make sure you have on your notification bell so you'll be notified when i upload my next video and if you aren't a subscriber please subscribe now it's free okay guys that's it for now and i'll see you in the next one thanks so much for watching